Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Mariana Amatulo. I am the Vice President of Design Matters at Art Center College of Design. And I am honored to be the jury captain for the Educational Initiatives category of the 2012 Core 77 Design Awards. So in this hot, blistering morning here, summer morning in Pasadena, California, I am joined by a fantastic set of individuals who are part of the jury team this year, and they will introduce themselves now to you. Hi everyone, this is uh, Alex Hannon. I'm a uh, design and innovation consultant, and I co-lead Continuum's West Coast studio. Good morning, everyone. I'm Johanna Blakely. I'm the managing director and director of research at the USC Annenberg Norman Lear Center. And I'm Karen Hoffman. I'm the chair of product design here at Art Center College of Design. So before we get into the actual announcements, we thought it would be good to give you a bit of a behind the scenes feeling about the criteria and the rationale we had as a team as we reviewed a very diverse and exciting set of submissions in the educational initiatives category. And um, as you know, this is a category that invites a lot of uh, pluralism, both in content and in format. And this was very energizing to us as a jury. We uh, had to think hard and deliberate carefully uh, about the state of the art, so to speak, where design education is today as a very exciting domain knowledge that has deep consequences uh, in our contemporary culture as it overlaps with social, economic, and pol political challenges and opportunities in our time. So uh, we all recognize that this is a very exciting moment in time for design education. There's a lot of change underway, and this has profound implications for designers as professionals. And uh, this, again, represents uh, very exciting opportunities and challenges, and we definitely saw that in the submissions that we reviewed. So we took, as a team, a very specific POV uh, for judging uh, this category. And Karen is going to share with you some of the questions we posed ourselves um, as we took a stance as a team in, in thinking about the awards for the educational initiatives category. Karen? Great, thanks, Mariana. So our perspective for our jury team was considering uh, the submissions um, being shaped by the following factors and, and questions. Uh, how is the educational initiative potentially game-changing? You know, is there evidence of indicators that may suggest a shift in mindset of, through the initiative? In other words, you know, is, is the initiative moving the dial in education? Big, brave, bold in spirit, excellence in intent and execution were some of the qualifiers that were tossed around during our deliberations. We also took into account the differences between the curricular versus co-curricular or non-curricular proposals looking for relevance in each one of those. And in all instances, uh, the jury discussed how the selections would be ind in indicative of educational initiatives that elevate the discourse of design education, as well as foreshadow design's future. So now on to some announcements, and we'll pay play some musical chairs here so you can hear from every jury member as we announce the different categories. And Karen will get us started. Yeah, so first, uh, we'd like to announce our uh, two student notables in our educational initiatives category. Uh, our first project is called Retail. Retail, Recycle, Rethink by the Wentworth Institute of Technology team for the Design Museum Boston. Uh, this project is a student field exhibition in collaboration with the Design Museum Boston. The exhibition highlights life cycles of consumer goods across four categories, sneakers, cell phones, water bottles, and cleaning products, and leaves consumers understanding that they're buying more than just the product, that they're really buying the process behind these products and accepting the responsibility within the life cycle of the product. So our jury thought that this student field exhi exhibit realized the collaboration in collaboration with the Design Museum Boston succeeded in translating a historically complex message 
into one that's accessible, compelling, educational, and memorable. Our jury found that the topic and presentation strategy of the exhibition is especially relevant in context of today's contemporary consumer culture. The exhibit helps the general public understand the multifaceted layers of the decisions that they make when they shop. The approach of the exhibit team took on analyzing the four product categories was a great starting point, and we can imagine how this exhibit concept can grow in a more immersive and expansive experience going forward. So congratulations to the Wentworth Institute of Technology team for this special project. So our other notable is called Kern and Burn by Jessica Carl Peltzel and Tim Hoover of the Maryland Institute College of Art in Baltimore, Maryland. Kern and Burn is an online publication and book about design entrepreneurship that curates discussions, interviews, and essays. We focus, they, the project focuses on telling design entrepreneur stories with the goal of inspiring fellow designers to follow their passions and create a life they want to live doing what they love. Our jury thought Kern and Burn brings to life an emergent aspect of design, which is entrepreneurship, an innovative and effective way through an online publication and book. We appreciated how well you serve how well you surface a multitude of design entrepreneur entrepreneurial voices in your project through the interviews and stories that are profiled online and in the proposed book. The stories of entrepreneurship from the designers that you seek that you are seeking to document in this book are nicely reflected by your overall entrepreneurship vision. The example through the strategy to recruit stories through the quote 100 days of design entrepreneurship blog as well as the tactic to access funds to make it a reality through its Kickstarter campaign. Going forward, we encourage Kern and Burn to take the project beyond a book to a more immersive narrative, an online video, and testimonial as well. So congratulations to Kern and Burn team. Uh, now I'm going to hand it over to our further announcements from Johanna. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I have three professional notables to announce today in no particular order. One is Industrial Design Outreach, or I Do. That's Martin Linder, Philip La, Leslie Mullen, Stacy Jones, and Tara Friedman from San Francisco State University for Thurgood Marshall High School in San Francisco. I Do is an educational enrichment program uh, that introduces underserved public high school students to industrial design, computer software tools, and traditional and modern manufacturing systems. These experiences foster curiosity, promote creativity, build self-confidence, and allow them to develop valuable skills. Here are the comments from the jury. With a curriculum founded as a direct response to the lack of design course offerings in San Francisco's underserved high schools, I Do presents a compelling model for a teaching mindset for industrial design. I do surfaces the value of iterative problem solving, the inspiration of making, and an overall tangible and approachable set of methods that reveal how design education can play a part in high school education and build up vocational and college skills. Another notable is Sustainability Crash Course by Deborah Johnson and Carolyn Shaberl. This is from Sustainable Design Studies and Research at the Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, New York. Here's a description. The Center for Sustainable Design Studies and Research provides faculty, students, alumni, and the New York community with educational resources that promote the integration of sustainable best practices into academic programs and professional practice. The jury said, our changing and fast-paced socioeconomic environment demands of designers that they demonstrate unique agility and embrace lifelong learning in order to stay current in a variety of adjacent fields. The jury found that the sustainability crash course is a new educational model that delivers effective ways to increase, to increase knowledge acquisition and to build skills. The jury especially remarked on the value of a curriculum that targets the integration of academic and studio instruction and promotes a peer-to-peer -peer learning environment that also fosters collaboration. Another notable is Design for America Leadership Studio. This is from the Design for America team and sponsored by McCormick School of Engineering and the Siegel Design Institute at Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois. 
Design for America is a nationwide network of student-led studios using design to create local and social impact. DFA's vision is to enable a generation to tackle the most ill-structured challenges of our time in the areas of health, education, the economy, and the environment. The jury believes that Design for America is committed to deploying new models of design-driven innovation and community engagement across college campuses throughout the country. The jury found that with the new leadership studio, DFA is demonstrating how they are achieving sound scalability and showing strong commitment to sustain and build on the leadership lessons that participation in the program affords students. Congratulations, everyone. And now Alex will announce the runners up. All right, we have uh, two professional runner-ups um, to share today, and they're in no particular order. Um, one runner-up is uh, called Fab Lab. Um, Fab Lab is this super inspiring after-school program that was designed by the uh, Tithe design team. Uh, and the award goes to Christina Drury, Josh Newman, Sushir Kadidal, Kina Hazelwood, and Ardith Correra. Tithe designed this for a nonprofit called Sustainable South Bronx. Um, so they collaborated with this nonprofit to develop a curriculum um, that teaches local high school students uh, transferable job and life skills through design education. It really encourages them to think about their own professional futures um, and eventually even about the pursuit of higher education. So the, the curriculum was, was split into two parts. The first part was really community driven. Um, so students were encouraged to, uh, to reach out to the community and design for the community by deeply understanding the needs of local residents. And the second part was more of an entrepreneurial program where students were encouraged to design a sustainable product and to um, um, really consider the kind of the business implications all the way to, uh, to putting the product on, uh, on Etsy. Um, we were super impressed with how thorough and how well thought through the curriculum was. We really love to see how um, kind of collaboration, civic action, creative problem solving, um, we're not only taught, but celebrated as part of the program. And then we thought it was, it was really a great example um, of how design and design thinking can give high school students pretty kind of fundamental life skills and lessons. Um, so congratulations to, uh, to Tithe Design. Uh, great job and definitely go and check it out. Uh, another runner up is the, uh, the D3 Lab. Um, D3 stands for um, Dream It, Design It, and do it. Uh, and it's, a, it's more of a project-based learning tool uh, in space. And it, it was really built to empower students and teachers of the Nightingale Middle School here in, uh, in West LA um, to take ownership, take charge of their, their, their own educational experience. Um, it uses kind of design methodology and design processes and creates this really kind of hands-on, community-based, um, almost kind of real-world educational projects. Um, the award goes to uh, Common Studio and the New Learning Institute. Um, Stephen Brown, Nancy Chu, Enrique Gonzalez, Kim Karlsrott, and uh, Daniel Phillips. Um, the program is currently being developed and deployed. Um, we all thought it was really kind of a great example of how kind of design-centric learning can integrate kind of a core subject matters like math, reading, and science uh, with design thinking and creative problem solving. And, and the space kind of really empowers um, teachers to bring their content to life in a much more immersive and engaging fashion. Um, we also really enjoyed that it was kind of a hands-on learning tool, that it, it really taught kind of hands-on skills, which in, in most school districts, uh, you know, these activities are currently being cut due to budget reductions. So Common Studio and the uh, New Learning Institute, congratulations, great job. And uh, now we are going to get ready to announce the winner in the educational initiatives category. So, um, drum roll, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the, we are very pleased and congratulate the winner of the 2012 Core 77 Design Awards Educational Initiatives category, who is the College of Design, Engineering and Commerce, DEC, Philadelphia University, by the DEC Core Curriculum Team for the Philadelphia, Philadelphia University in Pennsylvania. Congratulations Yay. to the winner. 
um, we want um, to say a collective word as a jury about this winner. Uh, we want to really salute uh, the team for the Philadelphia University for taking a bold step to reinvent what amounts to 50% of the university and bring together, uh, believe it or not, 15 undergraduate departments, 1,500 students uh, since 2011. Um, together to uh, imagine this new core curriculum uh, for design. It's a curriculum that integrates integrative design processes, business model innovation, ethnographic research methods, science system thinking, and an integrative capstone at the end of this um, curriculum. It has been drawn up in a truly interdisciplinary fashion and is set to function uh, in a transdisciplinary manner, so really bridging domains of knowledge in a new and exciting way. Um, we believe that it is an educational initiative that puts forth design with design with a capital D, truly, and uh, design is taking center stage here uh, in this curriculum, and we all will be watching and learning from the outcomes ahead. Bravo, and um, everybody here has uh, some highlights to share um, about our thoughts for this curriculum. So please, Alex. I, I'll, I'll keep it short. I, I thought it was really kind of courageous to break down silos for the, for the benefit of a truly kind of integrated educational experience. Um, so kudos. Um, I thought that breaking down the institutional structures and working collectively through the entire institution to sort of reimagine and reconfigure the entire curriculum is evidence of an institution that's determined to leapfrog. And I really thought that, that this uh, particular program really reflects the complexities of the world in which we live and truly, truly reflects the future of design. Uh, we wish you much success in developing this program. So um, as a team, this uh, is concluding our broadcast announcement today. We want to again congratulate all the winners and all of those who submitted to the educational initiatives category for your hard work and courage and, uh, uh, and inspiration. We were all very inspired by all the submissions in this category. We wish everyone well and uh, we want to say thanks again for allowing us to serve on this jury to the Core 77 team. Tune in for the next round of announcements and goodbye from Pasadena and Art Center College of Design. Thank you. Bye-bye.